Okay, you know what? I do like a lot of rock. I like so much different types of music. I love rock. I love hip hop. I love Latin. I love just, you know, pop music. Like, I kind of like it all. So good luck trying to find a favorite song. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's a favorite, but you ready for this? Yes. See what I you bet got. you you liked this back in the day. Oh, that's Linkin Park. <laughs> you like this record, don't you? So I was, I'm, I am actually a big Linkin Park fan. See? Yeah. I did it again. Yeah, you are so good. Okay. So I'm just going to say we need to do a lunch and learn where Dougie plays like the carnival guy, carnival DJ, and guesses what everybody's favorite songs are. <laughs> Sometimes I need to remember. This is like the best record ever. Sometimes I need you to stay away from me. Sometimes I mean, disbelieve if I didn't know. Sharon and Doug, we just need to hang out more often. <laughs> this that's the ultimate teen angst record. Although it's all about like why they hate their parents and stuff. Or somebody. I always imagine it's the parents. My son loves singing that record to me. So, you know. <laughs> you know, Daniel loved that record. We used to listen to it in the car. Okay. I don't so know. good. Okay. Woo! All right. We can go live now. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm glad that wasn't live. Sharon said, um, do you want a live stream? I think I messed it up. Well, you're not supposed to be live. Oh, you took back ownership. Give me the... Um, you're still sharing. You can still share your screen. I can't. I can't. No, I can't sh um, live stream I'm unless I'm live. host. I'm doing the live. Okay. Yeah, I stopped the music so we don't get Facebook jail. Yeah. All right. So I picked um, favorite music, two out of three. Karen is still a bit of a mystery. I'm working on it. But, you know, Karen's very eclectic. Yeah. You know, so I think there's probably, there's no doubt that five o'clock somewhere is a, is well, a yeah. good one for her. You turn that on, it's on. If one of those yeah. CDs would fall out over her head right there, we might be able to tell better. <laughs> the right there. <laughs> so I got more, but uh, we got to move on. Um, I, I'm thinking for the future, though, I got T. I got T ready to go right here. Um, I don't know about Arlene. That's going to be a tough one. Arlene, are you wearing horns? Wow. How about that? This this Zoom is, um, it's going to be scary. Yeah. <laughs> because Arlene's making it that way. I love it. No, yeah, I just showed up to the office this morning wearing it. <laughs> Lonnie Markman in the house eating some raw vegetables and some sort of... Um, Fermented materials. I wish, not raw. Ah. I'm eating bole. Oh, bole, bole. Gwen put me into a raw dog food group. I already asked the dumbest question ever. Did you see it? What is kibble? What What the hell are they talking about? But that's just dry dog food. Dry they dog talk food. about it like it's the devil in there. So yeah. I got a lot to learn. And kibble's not a brand. I thought kibble was a brand. It might be, but I don't, I don't have dogs. I don't think so. Record. I don't think so. It's just dry dog food. Yeah. Hey, Sharon, how's that um uh, <laughs> live broadcast going that you said you were working on? Yeah, Facebook. You want to throw it back to me? No, I'm oh, yeah. browsing data. Because you you've almost matched um, Wednesday's record of ten minutes. Oh, that you're there. Ten minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure that I only had two minutes so far to do this because you were doing your name that tune. Okay, almost. It's actually going to let me. I mean, I'm about to put some more music on if this doesn't get going. I thought there. you were better at like working the crowd, so I thought you could go some long, a little longer. Oh my gosh, we are live on Facebook. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Hello. Woohoo! They've allowed us to go live. I have to clear my browsing data every time I go in here. Sorry, guys. We are doing bingo. Weird. Yeah. In November. 
Excuse me? Who's excited about bingo in November? <gasps> oh, okay. Yay, Karen. Oh, you are so competitive. Janie is excited. Gwen. Who else? Jen? There's a man in Kristen Bosse's home. I was wondering, I was about to say hi, Matt, but she's <laughs> smiling, so I think she's What's okay. Son, but I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I don't know him. It's now on the record. I forgot I was in my camera box. It's the painter. He stinks. What? He stinks? Don't yell that stuff out. <laughs> All right, Sharon, let's get going on our um, agenda. Okay, are you sharing your screen with the bingo? Sure. All right, so we're gonna just talk through it so we all um, understand it, but we all could also maybe even do the first little square, I thought. Um, and we could talk about like a plan to make the most of this. And Jules, why don't you share your excitement about this? I see her on there now. Hi, <laughs> sorry, my kids are being crazy. Um, no, I'm super excited. I was just saying how uh, these games always kind of give me a little bit of a kick in the butt right when I need them. And my team said the same thing. They're like the action game gave us a little bit more like accountability <laughs> and direction. And when you work by yourself, especially now, it feels like we're working, like not seeing people with events and stuff. We need something that's gonna make us feel like we're part of something bigger and doing something together. So I, I'm very excited about this. Awesome. Yay, and we're, we're putting out $300 for you guys. And the original bingo game I stole this from was like a lot less, so take advantage. Okay, um, and so you guys probably already read it. There's gonna be three winners. But you want to have as many entries as possible. I guess you can have 12 entries. That's how many bingos you can do, whether they're, you know, horizontal, vertical, diagonal. There's 12 possibilities for each person by the end of the month. So whenever it says October, like the first square, it's really November. And it looks like Dougie corrected this one because down at the bottom it says vet I did. valid for the month of November. Thanks for I'll send that to you. You're the best. Okay, so first um, it says start and write down your October goals, but we're gonna say November goals and oh. affirmations. So we're that's what we're gonna work on today. Um, what do you think? Should we work on that now or let's breeze through this and look at all of them? All right, um, the next square is <laughs> to share a link with five people all right and then the next one i love this one because i'm super bad at it write a thank you note to three customers i mean if i was doing stuff like that that'd be phenomenal so that's one of my first squares i'm gonna attack have a self-care day drink water exercise drink a smoothie read something life-giving okay that's good Finish your partner plus express track or help a new partner finish their ooh, express track. Oh my goodness. That means that we get somebody to partner plus in 10 days. I know you guys have been doing that. So um, we need to find somebody and say, listen, I can get you that extra hundred dollars within 10 days. Yeah, Kristen says I can do that self-care thing. Me too, I'm a little too good at that one. A little too good at that one. Wait, does that mean like every time you go to like get a massage that's you're getting points? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's going to be rough. No. There's only one square, right? You can only do one square one time. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Watch three short product videos from the Freedom Revolution. Now, I would like to say, whoa, what's going on, Dougie? Sorry. Um, that I think we can watch any of the business ones. We really need to watch the business ones. I'm pretty sure that we're pretty good at the, the um, other ones, the product ones. So if you want to watch business ones um, or the ones on the front page, you know, the military or the teachers or whatever, whatever is going to make you then say, oh, I can send this to somebody, you know, after watching that. Hey, Dougie, how about you do that? What? Excuse me, how about you do that? Where? I don't like to hear myself all that much. I like to take turns. 
Oh, well, somebody else can. Complete it for you. Well, Gwen, Gwen is really rising up to be a leader. Come on, Gwen, you do it. Okay, I'll do it. Complete a three-way call connection with a potential new partner and your upline NMD. Well, I need to do that. I don't know about anybody else, but I always need to do those. Um, add a product to an existing customer order. Great oh. reason to call your customer, right? Um, live the mission, shake it up. Post on social media about your complete smoothie. Did a live today on that. <laughs> Send a Juice Plus e-card. Oh, did you guys know you have those on your virtual office? Those are cool. I hope they've got new ones coming out. I haven't looked at that for a while. Thank you note or personal email to customer just because, yeah. November, thankful for November, right? Right. That's what yeah. we're rolling into, yeah. Okay, I did a whole line. Who's up? All right, next. Chris, Crispin. Uh, okay, was that me? Yeah, sorry. Um, so third line down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sign up a new customer for a trio, quad, or tower garden order. And that's new, not an, not adding to an existing customer. Right. That's new. Um, sign up a new partner and help them set up the virtual office and personal website. And now it looks like we've got a freebie, create your own activity. Mm. Uh, let's see, what, we, what could we do for that? Maybe host your own event, like do one yourself where you are huh. that that'd be a good one you got that square tonight oh but how about go to a lunch and learn or go to a lunch and learn <laughs> or do we have go live oh jules says oh jules just put facebook live yeah yeah i'd say facebook live that one really that really got me when i was doing that for stacy's games then really going starting to go facebook live it really helped boost mine. So, okay, so there's some ideas for create your own activity. Then complete a three-way connection call this month with an upline. And I guess that could be either potential team or potential customer. And then ask a customer to share their story on social media and tag you. I'll do the next line. <laughs> complete your QSC or help a team member finish their QSC and earn a 300 or $400 bonus. <coughs> That's from the company, not from me. <laughs> Make a smoothie bowl and post a picture of it on social media. That's easy for Sharon. She has one every day. Mm -hmm. Complete a 5-1 this month. Five new household orders and one new partner. Those are new households. Post a fun healthy picture on social media, but don't overtly mention Juice Plus or uh, add a family health study order. Last line. Sharon, you're like the teacher and this is like school now and we're hoping we don't get called on. Okay, who wants to do it? I know there's always somebody that really wants to do it, right? There is? Mm -hmm. The studious ones? I think Janie Hawkins wants to. She, does. she looks very happy to do it. She has her camera on. Mm -hmm. That's an indication. Go ahead, Janie. Oh, she turned her camera off. Sorry, I had to un unmute. <laughs> so, all right, last line. Plan your week each week. Four weeks. Okay, so is, okay, so this is just for one week or you have to do all four weeks on this one? Oh, it, like, I guess you could circle it, whether you did it the first, yeah, or the second, okay. the third, or the fourth. Okay. And so use your DMO planner. Um, qualify your business with 1,800 PVC in PB. Post or attend an online event. Oh, somebody mentioned that already. So that it is kind of covered on here. Get a new mega trio or <laughs> order. That's good. Sign up one new customer for complete. The powder or bars. Awesome. All right. Bingo. Bingo. How about that? A lot of options. I know Jamie um, just asked me today, Jamie did, um, for the scorecard, 
for the uh, action game. So looking for some options there, but this is like even opens it up even more, makes it kind of fun. It should be good. All right, any questions about all that, guys? Those of you that have team, this will be really good for your business, but it's exponential if you have your team engaged playing it with you. Mm. So don't be afraid to um, promote it with them. Throw in some of your own prizes maybe, or remember they need to do three-way connection calls, so start talking about that. So we always got to be thinking about leadership and how to engage people. That's good. Really good. Okay. So I was thinking that maybe we could work on November goals and three affirmations. What do you guys think? Three affirmations. That's the, the left corner. Like we could go ahead and talk about what our goals are. I mean, I think they've kind of outlined it here. Five one would be a great goal, right? Um, so maybe you could unshare your screen, Dougie, and we could talk to the people. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to fix that October to November. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, me too. Okay, so let's talk about what you would like to accomplish in November. Let's put it that way. Anybody have any ideas? I want to be more consistent with 5-1. I get it some months, and I'm actually really close for October, but I need to be doing that more consistently. That's good. Yeah, I think I'm like one away from a 5-1. <laughs> one customer away? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. still doable then. Yeah. Yeah, it's doable. Yeah. Good. So that is a good goal for anybody. And Glenn says she has a partner plus she wants to fast track to QSC in November. And you never know when that person is around her. You didn't know that was happen, right? Yeah, she express track to partner plus in like six days or something like that. So this gives her the time to make you know okay so yeah and she's local bonus Kristen wants to fast track some new partners tell us about that Kristen Fosse helping the school okay I think that means she has some new partners that she's going to help fast track. Now, anybody can restart. That's the good thing. So November 1st, right around the corner, Sunday, and we can restart anyone, right? New business month. And I know some people are working on QSC, so they've been working in October and they need to finish in November. But if you have any partners, then it's a great time to just start them up again, November 1st. Let them know, hey, you can restart now. Okay, what's another good goal for November? Well, I don't, I don't think I've ever played the bingo game before, but anybody that's done this, what's, what would be a good week in bingo? How many bingos getting one, two, three, four? I don't know. Is it hard? doesn't look that hard. Challenging, but some things you don't have control over, like adding new yeah. orders, you don't have control over when that happens necessarily. You just have to be good about follow up. When we were doing this with Stacy's, I was trying to get three to five bingos a week. Like that was a, a decent week for me. Okay. All, all the stars aligned. <laughs> so that's a good goal is to have, um, you know, like 10 to 15 or like 15 to 20 um bingos in the month or to try to get three like she said three to five a week so not just doing the minimum that's good raise the bar okay i was gonna say what Kristen said about partners because i know sharon you and i we you know we want to get some new stuff happening mm -hmm. but at the same time i want to be all in with the game and it looks like it would really help with customers it would really help with everything and um, that's going to lead to more team anyway. 
Okay, same with Kristen Winter. She wants to help her team get to the next level. Good. Okay, so those are some good goals. What are some good affirmations? Because that's in the same little slot there for the bingo game. Does anybody do affirmations every day? We do affirmations, but I do them for my kids every day on the way to school. Yeah. But if you want to hear them, they're maybe not as applicable, but I could add some for G+. They're in the card. Do you guys want to say your affirmations? They actually added some new ones. So we say, I am brave. I am kind. I am smart. I am a child of God. I am gracious. I am grateful. I am thankful. I show the love of Jesus to others. And then we can say, I'm a customer getter. I am attracting new team members daily. I help others with their health. <laughs> <laughs> I have a passion for sharing Juice Plus. I am consistent. I am patient. Okay, we're going home. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. <laughs> I heard somebody say one time, I am a customer magnet, and I love that. That's got a lot of good energy to it. So, right. When you say yours out loud. Well, you know, I did that Lauren Lahav thing a couple of weeks ago. So, <laughs> and Stacy Joy likes to say these that she is a magnet for new teammates and a magnet for new customers. And then the one last week was, I am more than enough because everybody can say I'm enough, but you have to say I'm more than enough because it sounds better that way. And it's a little more, you know, hello, I am more than enough, right? Then I'm just enough. <laughs> <laughs> a more, you know, it makes you feel better about yourself and a little stronger towards yourself. I love it. So I'm learning. I'm learning. And the Lauren Mahav thing, what was that? Was that, you mean her lecture where she goes down the list? Yeah, I guess sort of. It's called the True Voice Challenge and she's doing it for free and she'll do it again like in January. It was a one week thing. And she just dumped into you for a week. I still haven't finished all my homework. <laughs> it's a lot of homework and she's doing a wrap up thing today. And so it's pretty cool. It was, it was all about um, self, self uh, care and, and getting, uh, getting over yourself and, and expanding yourself and being a better leader, a better person. Yeah, it was really cool. It had nothing to do with the business at all. It was all about you know, being that cheerleader, like, how does she do it? <laughs> For yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so many negative things that we say to ourselves all day. And that's what she, she helped you learn, you know, like, why do you think that way? You don't think that way about yourself. Why would you say that about yourself? You know, just because your parents said that about you, you don't think that way about you. So don't, don't let those processes just keep going through your head, it doesn't do you any good. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Thank you. How about Lonnie? Lonnie, I'm sure you've got some, some good affirmations for us. Hi. Hi. Um, you know, my affirmations are a lot, um, they, they kind of change. And one of the things that I do with my affirmations, I know this seems funny, but I've been doing it for years and I love it. I plug it into my phone as a calendar appointment. And so it sets a reminder and then it'll just pop up and it'll say like, I choose love over fear, or it'll say, you know, I am strong, powerful and whatever, whatever it is that I need at that, that moment. So I plug it into my phone, like for whatever I'm going through at the time. Um, one of the ones that I've been using lately is that I'm a love warrior. I don't know where it came from, but um that is one of the ones, I think warrior is one of the words that I've been using a lot lately in love, just spreading more love and doing things more from a place of love than fear or anything like that. So I'm a love warrior is mine right now. And then I have everyone in class create and 
intention or an affirmation as well. And we always share those. So um, they kind of change weekly for me. So this week is um, I am kind, I am loving, and I lead by example. That was my one for this week. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Who else has some? Okay, so um, Karen. <laughs> like, no. Okay, that looks like Bolet also. All right, Doug has written a bunch of stuff in here. Can you want to tell us about that? Um, well, the last thing I just put in is a link. This is from the Miracle Morning. And in that book, he gives you resources. <clears throat> so Napoleon Hill wrote Think and Grow Rich. And um, that link I just put in there links to a document that gives you like a basic version of some affirmations. And I just shared with you above that my the first part of mine. Um, and I like this. I like the way it's worded because um, I like that too, where it says I'm more than worthy. So I might change it to I'm more than worthy, deserving and capable, achieving extraordinary level, levels of success and all of my goals as, un, and, as any other person on earth. And for me, that's really important because we we compare ourselves nonstop, right, to other people. Well, why this blah blah blah? Well, what are blah blah blah? And, you know, you know, why is Kurt Beaver so successful in this? Well, you know, based on just the fact that, like, you know, when when a new technology comes out, he's already doing a video about it. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's working hard. He deserves it. You know, so I'm just as worthy and deserving and capable of achieving. Anything I want is anybody else. Nobody's better than you, you know, and, and from in my faith, you know, I believe that God created us and that, you know, he didn't create Michelle Fletcher one day and say, well, I guess I got to make a Michelle Fletcher. Let me get back to making Sharon Farrar's or something. No, um, you know, it's, it's, he, he makes everybody perfect in their own way and we're all capable of achieving great things, maybe in different ways. Um, listening to a book called the four color personalities of network marketers. And it just re it makes me realize how like, I'm more of like an introvert, even though I do that crazy music stuff or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I am more introverted than say Sharon and we just have to do the business differently. So I like it. And also the other thing that I love about that affirmation and um, I like bragging about it because I think it's a great affirmation. You know, I, and by the way, I got it from a variation of Napoleon Hill. I'm 100% committed to becoming the person I need to be. Okay. So what it's doing is it's not saying like out to the universe, like I am an NMD, I am an NMD and like having this like fantasy hope that it's going to happen. It's saying that I'm committed to becoming who I need to be in order to be an NMD or in order to get my next promotion or to be the best dad in the world or to whatever, you know? So it really puts the, um, it puts the ownership and the responsibility back on you, but it still trains your brain, you know, that I am training to be better through daily personal development and living with daily discipline to attract, create, and sustain the level of success that I truly want in my life, that I want. You know, not everybody's really willing to like go through what they need to go through to get that success. But um, to me, this is motivating and it's good. Thanks, Jules. Was that to me? Oh, it's everybody. I can link you guys to my whole thing. You guys There's have more. Any comments on that? They don't need to come. I love it. I love uh, the reminder of that affirmation where you know we're all just as worthy what separates us is our level of commitment um so then it says so from this moment on i'm 100 percent committed to becoming the person i need to be through daily personal development living with daily discipline i mean it's really the daily things so that's why the affirmations are really a good thing you know and i i'm not great at it that's for sure um, do you guys have um you guys do a lot of goals. I do goal setting too. 
Um, so let me show you what my goals were. I haven't really edited the, these in a while. To be honest with you, um, the person that I I got this all from, oh, this is a little weird. Why won't it let me do that? Relationships. There we go. Okay. Let me share it now. I just wanted to put bullet points. So this was from months ago, but uh, during COVID, I haven't updated these. But transformation, achieve optimal weight, uh, optimal health and fitness. I mean, my blood pressure has gone down. My weight is down almost 30. Single-digit golf handicap, that hasn't gone so well in COVID. They closed the golf courses. Emma turned 13 and has no interest in golf right now. But I did shoot 82 and 83 the last couple of times I played. Daniel launching into next life steps. Well, he's in the Army. There we go. Um, 100 Club, not kind of where uh, we're not there yet. Um, we have grown quite a bit, though, probably like 30%. Uh, no debt. We're, we're doing really – we're good. No debt on a budget and financially sound. I mean, that's happening. Mm -hmm. I got pool contractors coming on Monday relationships uh i don't know i always feel bad about relationships because i see how good sharon is and i'm not as good so i'm working on it oh now you have to get counseled from everybody you're not supposed to compare oh yeah <laughs> okay this isn't about me <laughs> oh my gosh this is live on facebook <laughs> i'm gonna cry next oh my god it's a weird lunch and learn. Yeah, I agree. Okay, um, so we have we have Stacy, Shannon, and Jerry on live. So shout out to you guys. Jerry says she wants to qualify in November, which is a really good goal, especially if you haven't been qualifying. And then you get an extra fifty dollars. Brittany Cunningham, I think um, she's gonna qualify too. I see her. Um, Right there, qualification. And she's on also on Facebook. Uh, I wanted to share with you there is an app for affirmations that like pops up on your phone. Um, this one is I am my own superhero. This is I am building my dreams into reality. I'm worthy of being loved. So throughout the day, it just kind of pops up. I accomplish everything my <coughs> I set my mind to. I am fearless. I love that. Like uh, the racquetball people call me the Terminator now, so I like <laughs> I own the Terminator. So um, what? So Sharon, that is an app, and then you plug in these affirmations, and then they just pop up randomly during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I like that. So it's called I Am. It's just an app, and I didn't pay for like the premium one. There's some kind of upcharge, but I didn't do that, and it still pops up. So that's cool. Well, I think we could probably change the subject. We know what we need to do with the bingo. So let's talk about something else. What would you guys like to talk about? You know, pretend we're at a restaurant, we're getting together, you guys are seeing each other. Turn on your cameras, maybe. So you can say hi. Quit looking at your phone. <laughs> Um, I would love to hear from anybody who has gotten a new team member in the last like two months, like what they're, if they're doing anything different or how they're approaching the business. I think I just am approaching it more. I got more active in it, you know, and, and I'm doing more. So I've got four teammates in the last two months. Are you, are you sending them messages to do three-way calls? You're just asking them, how are you actually, like, how are they actually signing up? Um, I see them on social media and then we have our little relationship on messenger or whatever on the phone. I finally get them on the phone. <laughs> they used to come to events, but now I just get them on the phone and then, and then we just, I developed that relationship with them. So now they're calling me and they actually have, use some of Stacy's verbiage, you know, like you don't have to feel committed to doing all this. people or feel like we're over committed or something. I mean, they're so spread out. They're so spread out on everything. They don't see a way to make this work. So I'm, I'm trying to help them realize that it's not that 
you don't have to do that much if you don't want to do that much. <laughs> but if you just do a little bit, you'll get something, you know, and, and they're slowly starting to grasp the concept and they're slowly ready to learn, you know, and a lot of them, it's just landed in their lap at the right time. You know, one, one teammate, she's inactive for three years and now she doesn't have a job. So, hey, let's try this. And so she got to come to Hesperus with us and she got immersed in it and she absolutely loves everybody. So it was the best, you know, and wish we had conference again, but you know, we just make it work. And, and I don't know, they're, they're ready. I guess they're just ready. They've watched me and followed me and, and they're ready. So the one that express tracked is the one that I didn't expect to do anything at all, but I kind of hope she would cause she's got another business out there and she's running it really well on the internet and she's homeschooling and she's that mom, you know, so she sees it and she's got the plan. So she needs her nine more orders, you know, and she can do it. It's just getting her to do it. Yeah. When I think you've undergone a lot of um, mindset shifting and you've changed and grown a lot too lately. And I think that's showing up in your business, Yeah. right? Would you yeah. agree? Yeah, totally, totally, yeah. Because she's exploding, guys. So what would you say shifted for you? I mean, you're now introducing the business, but what else? Maybe that, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm just tired of being stuck. <laughs> And I have goals, you know, I, I have bills I need to pay and I'm, you know, I don't want to be the no mom forever, or the no wife. I want to say yes more. And I want to, you know, you guys see me having all this fun and everything, but I only show the fun. <laughs> I don't show all that other stuff, you know, and, and I'd rather have more fun. So, you know, there's, I have a why, you know, it's not, it's me being healthy and I want that insurance plan, but I also want to have more fun and I don't want to be a no person and I want to be debt free and I want to have money in the bank and, you know, just like everybody else. <laughs> so, but I've, I've learned enough now. I you can leave it out know it's... too much. I share too much. I have to dumb it down and make it so that the people can see how easy it is to do. So that's what I'm doing. Well, Eric Worry says you want to work with people who are hungry and teachable. Yeah. So Gwen, Gwen is, is doing yeah. that. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning who those ones aren't. Like the one that doesn't want to renew this year. <laughs> I'm like, whenever you want to renew, it's your business. If you don't want the money back, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> but also, you're hungry now. Gwen. Yeah. You've yeah. got goals. I love that you said, I have goals. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So Gwen, you're continuing on like uh, getting customers and how you're doing it. You are doing a lot of the, um, so you're, you're, a lot of the people you meet is based around your MS posts or just in general, a lot of MS stuff, right? In groups. You know, I'm only in one group with MS and I'm not allowed to say anything about my juice plus in there. <laughs> so, so that has to be, I develop a relationship with those people in that group and then they follow me and then they ask about the juice plus and then it just, it just goes from there. My new customers, some of them are from my husband who loves to talk juice plus with all of mm -hmm. his people that he meets. And then, yeah, they're just following me on, on Instagram. I have 1500 followers on, on Facebook and I have 900 on Instagram. So they follow me and they ask me questions and I just, build the relationship like they're my friend and one girl i'm working on now in boulder um she's like my twin she's 10 years younger and she's like Hi, i've been looking at juice plus so i'm i'm ready to get her she's running a food truck i mean you know it's one of those mission driven people she's that's great she's there so yeah i you know it is a numbers game the more you talk to but i i'm learning the relationship is where it's at and uh, do you spend a lot of time on social media? Yeah, but I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm honest. I don't go anywhere. I'm, yeah. I'm here. So, yes, I'm on social media, but that's my life. I mean, they are my friends. And, you know, I have two teammates in, in uh, the East, in Augusta. 
because of social media and it's not, you know, and now they're my friends, you know, I could go there and stay at their house and they're my teammates and they're my customers. <laughs> Which you should do in a couple of weeks when the master's tournament is there. Yeah. And then See if you can get me some passes and the pageant boot camp. No, Augusta. Oh, I know. <laughs> Are you going to the pageant boot camp, Quinn? Uh, Stacy would love to go one time, so I have a feeling we will be road tripping with two two teammates in the area. Yeah. Is it happening next month? I think so, but we're oh. we're not in the agenda to go next month. But yeah, um, it is happening next month. Rachel Smart's going to be speaking there, and she's actually going to come on this lunch and learn on Monday. Oh, cool. So I'll get my people on. Huh? I'll get my people on. Yeah. Um, I know Christine has three new team members this month. Christine, are you able to talk? How many? Three. Or maybe. Vin Hi there. Hi. Am I right? Um, I, I have two. Um, I have two team members. So how did it come but I just got email of me to lunch tonight. It's not working. Order But anyway, yeah, I, I don't know why it's showing. Maybe turn off the video. Pardon? Oh. Turn off your video and, and okay. just audio. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. it is turned off. Oh, you did it. Okay. All right. So yeah, I only have two. Well, that's good though. So, that's great. Um, how did the conversation come up? <laughs> Christine? Oh, I've known this person for a very long time and he actually watched our, yes, can you hear me? Yes. Hmm, I'm not muted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I've, I have known, uh, I've been working with this person for a long time and he actually watched the presentation that Vanessa and I did with Sandy and a few other people and Gwen, uh, I can't remember the other person's name, you know, about a, a month and a half ago, I guess. And uh, he immediately said he wanted that. So, but he also, it, he's also been in these kind of businesses before. I mean, you know, same premise. So it's not a big stretch for him so to uh, represent this. Person. You invited him to an event. What happened with the other person? How did you end up? The other person I've also known for a while, and he also has been doing this type of business for other products, and he just saw the value. Okay. He, also yeah. went, he also went to that event. <laughs> oh, that must have been a great event. Awesome. I guess. You got to. I got, uh, it, educate, it, it alerted a couple of people anyway that to the value of okay, the business and the, the product. Thank you, Christine. One of the um, topics on the bingo card is three-way calls. And um, Jen has been called out by Stacy to share about three-way calls and new team. Well, luckily I just heard that as I was trying to grab some food. <laughs> This is um, lunch and learn. You guys can show your food. It's you okay. can show your food. Um, well, Stacey was asking me, like, how have I been bringing so many three-way calls to her lately? Because I'll tell you, for the first, like, four and a half years, probably could count on one or two hands how many three-way calls I had brought to Stacy. I didn't know how to get people on a three-way call. I didn't know what that looked like. And so I just, and I had a lot of limiting beliefs around sharing with people. So I was always coming from a very weak position and why would anyone possibly be interested in joining from a weak position? And I was still in the mindset of trying to convince people instead of just sorting people out, sorting who's interested and who's not. And once I got past that, and I really had a lot of mindset shifts since probably August, then um, I was going through a 72 hour boot camp, recruiting boot camp that was done through Bob Heilig's program. And I had to straight up talk with just a ton of people and he teaches get on the phone. So I was setting up virtual coffee dates. So I've been setting up, I invite at least two people a day to do a virtual coffee date and just say, I want to get connected with you. I want to share, share, uh, spread some positivity and I want to hear what's going on in your life. And I'd love 
to get, uh, I'd love to share what's going on in Chase and I, in our, in my life. And so a lot of people will respond to that and I'm doing virtual coffee dates. And right now I've got like three or four, I am, you know, back to back today. And through that process, I spend a good 20, 30 minutes and I'm just catching up with these people because some I haven't talked with in a long time, but having that face-to-face conversation has been amazing. And it's really opened up really good relationships. And through it, I end up hearing a need in their life. And I say, you know what, can I show you something really quick? I don't know if this would work for you or not, but I would really, really like your opinion. I share my screen and I show the, um, the business video, the come join us business video. And then I, once it's done, I'll be like, man, I just, I love that video. And I would love to hear your, to hear your thoughts, your initial thoughts. And then I shut up. So I'm doing this live with people and there's something about actually having a conversation where you're seeing each other. And it really has been very, very positive. So I've got a lot of positive results out of that. And then once people are showing any level of interest, I'm like, you know what? I really want you to meet my friend, Stacy. I know you're debating this and she's been doing this for a lot longer than I have. And would you want to meet her? And so then I've been bringing a bunch of people three-way calls to her. And so right now we've got Stacy. I don't know. We've got like four or five that are just like right there on the edge. And oh, I did sign up this morning, Stacy. I did sign up one of those gals this morning. And so it's just really generated a lot of momentum, but it was all mindset with me and then really learning how to take effective and um, predictable action. Like I know everything I have to do in all of these steps as I become very methodical and that's important to me as a uber logical person. So. Wow. That's just genius. I mean, my mind's pretty blown. How about? I mean, she has effectively eliminated the the pandemic. Yeah. Well, it was the pandemic that started this because I couldn't see people. And so I was like, dude, let's just get on Zoom and have a coffee date. And then I realized, why aren't I doing this with all of my friends across the country? And so I've just started making connections with people. And it brings people up just having that coffee date, whether or not they're interested in Juice Plus, whatever, but it just brings people up and we're just having a great time talking and oh, getting to know each other again. And, and your coffee date, would you invite like me and Stacy, like if we were prospects, like two different prospects or it's always, it's one-on-one? Right now I'm doing one-on-one yeah, because okay. I'm trying to reconnect with them unless it's someone who I have a mutual friend with. So yes. I invited a person as a virtual coffee date, but one of my teammates is a very good friend of her. I brought her in as well. We all three were chatting mm -hmm. and we're actually <coughs> closing her right now. And I'm giving her to my teammate because that's, um, they're closer friends, but I initiated all of that. And Jennifer, since you are a genius, would you think that um, it would work with like a wine at nine the same way? Or is there something about the morning and coffee or whatever? Um, yeah, no, I, whenever I do it in the evening, I kind of joke around, well, I might not have coffee. I'll just have some wine or something like that. I find that I'm my best during the day. <laughs> so I try to take as much during the day as I can. So I have some evenings free. And then we do events in the evening, like the stretch events and stuff like that. And our bar party that we had. And thanks, Janie, for joining us. That one was fun. Hmm. So um, that's that's what I'm doing. And I just signed up a new one this morning. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I think we need like a little outline. <laughs> I started to type it in the chat. That That's really an amazing thing. Because I keep wondering, how can we connect socially with Zoom? I mean, I feel like I've bang my head a little bit about that. And I think what you've done is brilliant. Do you do it for an hour? Do you say a half an hour? Do you say a time? Do you actually have coffee? Like what happens? I do usually actually have coffee or tea. Um, I don't set the time, but what I find is it's an hour. And I do try to cut it off as much as I can at the hour, because honestly, I am booking them hour to hour to hour. I've got like legit five today. Um, wow. so, 
but what I find it also, I have to stay methodical. And so I am conversing with them and just really connecting with them, but I still watch the clock. So by about the 25 minute mark, I'm hoping at that point that I have heard a need in their life. And I, again, I've already asked their permission because I, I want to share with them what I'm doing. So they know I'm going to share something. And that's when I say, listen, you're just telling me that you're feeling so isolated and you know you're, it's very difficult to get out and actually see people. I'm part of this amazing community. I would love to show you something. So I'm just always listening for a need. And right now there's so many needs out there. People are going crazy. So I have a quick question. One of the things um, that you mentioned is you don't show, these are people that are not on Juice Plus, but you're showing them the virtual franchise video, not the product video. I'm starting with the business and it is starting really good business conversations, but then it also defaults to product conversations as well if they're not super interested in the business. So did you I'm get that from showing, Bob? I did, yeah, because it's a 72 hour recruiting boot camp, and I've got to share with 100 people in 30 days and this is how I've found to do it and I don't think I hit 130 days but I think I've hit 70. And so out of that I've got like five really strong prospect prospective team members that I'm bringing to Stacy so like she always reminds me it's a numbers game right Stacy yeah and about one out of ten I mean that's the right number it's always going to be like that and, and that's so our team prospects are you finding yeah. that the ones who maybe aren't oh no, no no that doesn't sound of interest to me but oh the product like are they do some of them default to where they're not interested in the virtual franchise but they want the product Yep. In fact, I got one this morning that she, I haven't put her order in yet, but she's wanting the products. And I, I stuck with the business, but she says she wants to try some of the shakes. So I'm like, so right sometimes on, people will say, well, I would want to try the product before I would ever represent mm -hmm. something, right? Are you able to get past that objection? You know, honestly, I'm, I'm not great at getting past all those objections. I'm kind of trying to meet them wherever they're at. And if they're super not interested in the business, then I don't want to like force the issue. So I, yeah, I get, I get them on the product, but then I've got other people that are interested in learning it as a business. Like this girl this morning, she's not a customer. She's signed up as she just signed up in the last like two hours and we're putting in, we're going to be working on putting in her orders. So, and then, Two of these, and here's what's the power of these virtual coffee dates. Two of these are ex-customers. They're not on it anymore, but they were on it years ago. So just having that human connection with people, one, it brings up why they stopped in the first place. And I was so too scared to ask in the beginning, you know? And so, sometimes it's- so let's I'm sorry, I just- Go for it. Let's pretend I'm your guest on the coffee date. What did you say to me to get on the coffee date? Oh, what did I say? Um, okay, let's say it's someone like that I went to high school with and, hey, we haven't talked in forever. How are you? Like, look, I'm trying to spread a lot of positivity and human connection. So I would really love to have a virtual coffee date and just get caught up with everything you have going on in life. Gosh, we haven't seen each other since high school. Um, I'd love to share what everything that Chase and I have going on too. So what does your schedule look like next week? Okay. So you yep. went right into, so what does your schedule look like? Now? Even yep. Stacy Stacey always tells me end with a question. Okay, awesome. So you're assuming the answer is yes before they've even answered you. Yes, and that goes back to mindset because if I have a middle school mindset and I'm super afraid that people don't think I'm cool enough to hang out with, then I'm going to come at a very weak position. But right now I assume people need the positivity that I bring and I know they're watching what I'm doing on social media. And as soon as I start having a Facebook messenger conversation with them, they're seeing more of my post at that point as well. And so then they're commenting or liking more of my stuff. And then of course we take it to Zoom. Okay, so I just arrived on Zoom. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, and of course we've got our coffee and literally we are getting caught up. I wanna know what has happened in your life since we last talked you know, what's going on. I want to find something that I can compliment them about because I remember I'm trying to spread positivity, value added. So I want to make them feel good about themselves. 
And like, oh, this girl I was just meeting with earlier, I was like, oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing. It's fantastic skin. And I want to make people feel good, better about themselves than before when I started talking with them. And then I listen for the need. And Jennifer, you said that um, somehow you've already asked them permission to talk about Juice Plus or the business. Where does that weave in? I'm I kind of I'm not sure how to cover that. Um, I so when I'm asking for the coffee date, I say I want to hear everything that you've got going on, and I'd love to share with what Chase and I have going on. So that briefly gives a little permission. But then when I'm actually in the coffee date with them, I am listening for the need. And one example was, gosh, you're telling me you're so isolated. You're a brand new mom and you don't have any friends where you're living. Like I'm a part of an amazing community. Can I show you something really quick? So I'm asking right then and there, can I show you something really quick? And then I share my screen and I show that video, but I get permission right then and there. And I've never had someone say no, but yeah. You do such good vibes, by the way. I loved your bar party. Like you're just so smooth and bubbly and, and Chase, I'm guessing like peeking his head in. It was just so rad. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jamie. Thanks for jumping on there. Jennifer, you have blown our minds today. <laughs> thanks. This is a great, great idea. And I'm excited uh, to just see how people integrate it um, into what they're doing. I see the wheels turning on Karen's face. I know and Karen is going to Karen is going to make so much money from this suggestion because she is a beast. And like everything else, when you have a great system and a great thing, if you do it, it works. And this is definitely very good. Very good. Thank you for um, like researching this and kind of I sent you a discount code for some uh, some merch, some sh a shirt or something. Oh, sweet. <laughs> because I'm gonna have to make a new one that says "Let's get coffee." <laughs> hey guys, so Jen says the words "methodical," but really it's systematic. She has a system in place, and that's what she does um, on the other side of Juice Plus. Is she is um, a software system developer. So for her, you know, she came to me and said, I, I really feel like I need to have a system in this. And she said, I'm going to show the business video. And I was like, oh, okay, that's new. I've never done it, but go for it. Let's see what happens. But she's very systematic in the activity she's doing and like what her next step is. And that takes the guesswork out of it for her. So she's able to do a lot of them um, over and over again. And we're both getting better at the three-way calls together too. And on the three-way call, we spend a good 20, probably at least 20 minutes um, where I'm just trying to find what's my connection to them too. You know, So what makes sense to me um, that I'm interested in or that I lived in the same place or I visited one time when the, where they live, whatever it is, like um, they have little kids, I have little kids, like just trying to find, hey, we're the same. I'm like you and you're like me. Um, you know, we're like Jen and we're all the same. You know, we have so many commonalities like you. And so then I'm listening for things that they're saying, um, maybe what job they have and what they don't like about it, but what they do like about it. And then once we're through the business conversation, I bring that back to them. Okay, so you mentioned you like this about your job. I can really see you taking that skill or that, you know, value system or that, um, you know, the way that you you already have that skill set and then bringing that into um you know, beginning to share Juice Plus, you're already doing something that we do the same. So it's a lot of like trying to find the commonality and that they could totally do this. And so uh, it's very conversational. I'm not going through like the compensation plan or anything. That's something that Jen can do with them afterwards if they're interested. But like, she's found the, the need and then we really connect the business and the community and the possibilities as the solution to that need. And it's really working well.
You were muted. Hey. Doug says, let's go. Is, I don't know whether Jennifer's still there, but Stacy, maybe you know. I know Kristen Winters asked which video she shares. Is it the main one on the Freedom Revolution that? Yeah, the first business video. First one, right? Okay. Okay, so I think we're all very inspired. We need to go make some coffee dates and line up freeway calls with Stacy. Just kidding, Stacy. <laughs> line up three-way calls with your leader and let's go, like Doug says. Excellent. Thanks again, Jennifer. Everybody, you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for lunch and we're gonna, yeah. Bring your new people. <laughs> Thank you, guys. This was awesome. You have a great day, too. Great to hear your voice, Vanessa. There you are. There you are. You're hey, welcome. Vanessa, did, those, did those seedlings <laughs> live? Baby. They're doing great. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yep. I was a little worried the about cilantro, it. I actually saved the cilantro. It is growing beautifully. And the tomato is growing like crazy. So thank you so much for those plants. OK, great. Congratulations. I think you've qualified your business. Yes, Ooh. working really hard on it. Qualifier, <laughs> <laughs> way to go! Thank you, thank Yay. you. Let's see more. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Thanks.